Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to insert a repeating background into your wiki space using CSS. If you remember in the last background CSS tutorial, I, I taught you how to insert just a large image and have it be uh, spread across the entire screen. So this image is actually probably, I think, 1600 pixels wide, um, but it's not very tall, so we had to actually use CSS to make it um, go down to the bottom. But the great thing about adding a uh, repeating background is that you never have to worry about it uh, not filling the entire background space um, for your website, or your, in this case, our, our wiki space. So let me show you how to do that. Um, let's go back into edit. And um, I guess before you do anything else, you need to find an image that is a repeatable background. Let me show you what I mean by that. Um, I went ahead and searched for um, squid finger patterns. There was a, a pattern site that I had found a while ago and I knew it was squid fingers so I just typed that in and this popped up and these these uh, images are about uh, just a little under 200 pixels each square and when we repeat these in the CSS it'll spread across the entire background of our wiki space so as you can see if I just click on these there's a lot of different types that you can grab and download and use as repeatable repeatable uh, patterns or backgrounds for your wiki space. So let me go back to our wiki space and I went ahead and already uploaded the pattern but again I'm gonna go ahead and just repeat the steps on how you do that. You would first go to upload files and then you would click on browse and then find the image on your desktop. I've already found mine. And then you click on upload. Now when it uploads, it's going to bring you to this tab right here. Okay? And remember, since we're putting this into the CSS of our wiki space, we don't want to insert the file, but we we do want to know what this file name is right here because we're going to reference this within the CSS. So if I hover over it, I named it something simple. I just named it pattern dot gif gif so uh, I need to remember that when I reference it within the CSS okay so I'm gonna go ahead and close out on this and after you upload the file just remember to click on save right here alright now to do this we have to get into our, our page template and if you remember from the last tutorial um, I first had to click on Manage Wiki, I had to go to Look and Feel, I had to go to Change or Make a New Theme, and then I had to create a custom theme from one of the default themes that Wikispaces provides you with. I went ahead and decided to use this theme right here, and I created a custom theme by going down here and typing in the name Glassy, and then choosing the glass theme as a start starting point and then clicked on edit since I've already got that theme um, activated I'm going to click on edit alright and this is where we entered in the green background that you see right here okay so this is this green background uh, the f the file name the image name for it was called uh, bg dot jpeg but we need to change that to pattern and actually we don't need all of this all we really have to do is well first let me take off the color the background color since this is a repeatable background, we're not going to need a background color within our CSS. But if you remember, the way you reference it from your 
wiki space is you first do uh, file view and then the image uh, file name so mine was pattern dot gif and then we need to change this from no repeat center top we're not wanting to position this in any way we just need to repeat it so we're just going to put repeat and then I'm going to click on save and voila there it is you can see this small square 200 pixel image is now being repeated across the entire width of our screen and it doesn't matter what size your screen is or what size someone else's screen is um, they should be seeing this repeated background all over the screen so just a really cool way to um, add a repeated background to your wiki space and it gives a little variety too instead of just having a solid color so I hope this was useful for you. If you, if you don't mind, um, if you think this would be helpful for someone else, um, go, you can go ahead and share it by um, tweeting it to someone else using Twitter. Or we've also provided some other um, social media, or social networking sites that you can pass on this post to. Um, again, thanks for watching Wikispace Tutorials. You can follow us at, on Twitter at uh, twitter.com forward slash wikispace toots that's t-u-t-s not the other kind of toot and uh, you can also uh, subscribe to our email list uh, by clicking on the email link on the home page or you can subscribe via rss thanks again for watching and uh, come back soon